Alright, so this is my pan creative counterplay deck. So I got pan as the leader. This is the uh, set three pan. So I'm going to do a list real quick. Obviously, pan for one copy. Uh, four copies of Great Ape Bardock Raider's War Cry. Four Bardock Bull of Iron. Four Great Ape Prince Vegeta. Four uh, Great Ape Tora. Four Bodyguard Legic. Four Mox B Kaioken Son Goku. Four Spirit Son Gohan. Four Vegeta the Cruel. Four Awakened Warrior Bardock. Four Chomp of the Trickster. Four Mar March of the Great Apes, four Planet Vegetas, and two Ghost Attacks of the Saiyan 3 Code Tanks. So there's the list for those who just want the list. Alright, so the main strategy of this game, I mean, that game, the deck, is uh, to be able to play March of the Great Apes, of course. So you can get two apes into play. You preferably want to get two apes with double strike. So we have Greatest War Cry. Uh, Bardock, he is a 20k with double strike. We have uh, Bardock World of Iron, he's also double strike. So there's two targets right there. Alright, so you want to get, obviously, March of the Great Apes to get those, you know, at least two double strikers in play, because that rate is four damage. Plus, you have the leader, which is an extra damage. Right? So, so you got five damage right there. Then you want to be able to overwhelm Awaken Warrior Bardock. When he's overwhelmed, he's he'll get double strike. He's 20k, so it'll be a 20k double strike. So you have three uh, 20k double strikes. Actually, one of these will be a 25k because we use Pan's ability to boost it up by five thousand power and get to, and draw a card. So you draw a card for her. You draw two cards for Marks of the Great Apes. So you have plus three with this strategy. Plus you'll have uh, six damage on board because you have two uh, double strikers. Plus Awaken the Warrior Bardock, which is your third double striker. So that's six damage plus the leader. Then... Um, uh, of course, um, bef I forgot the other thing. Before you uh, play the march, you want to play Bodyguard Legic. More likely, your opponent's going to have a uh, battle card on their side field, especially one in rest mode because they probably play it and attack you with it. So, you know, you Bodyguard Legic first, then you march, so that way you can, you know, get your two apes into play. Then, you know, you overwhelm. You're plusing for uh, you know, Pan's ability when you play March. You're plusing two for March. So you get the idea. So you have Pan, Bodyguard Legic, two apes, whichever one of these double strikers you, you put, you know, two of them. And then, of course, uh, Awaken Warrior Bardock. So that right there, you have three uh, double strikers. That's six damage, plus the leader, plus Bodyguard Legic. That's eight. So you have eight damage on board. You know, so that's your OTK strategy there. Um, the other strategy in this deck is um, you know, obviously interrupt your opponent by playing counterplays and to draw during your opponent's turn from Pan's effect by being able to put these uh, battle cards into play during your opponent's turn, boost them up to 20k. You know, that part doesn't matter much. What matters is you'll get to draw a card for doing so. And then, of course, you're interrupting your opponent's uh, plays by countering them. And then, it depends on the combination, but then, of course, you, you, you have this one card, Win Condition, which is Gold Tanks, which he essentially does pretty much the same thing as the, the, the main deck strategy is, except it's a one-card version. You play it, you get three tokens with 15k power. If you have four or less cards in your hand, all, uh, all your... Uh, um, Go tanks himself will get double strike as well as the token, so you have eight damage on board. So you can see there's more than one way to get eight damage on board in a single turn. Just some easier than others, right? So I already showed you the list. And the 
its win condition. Obviously, you have uh, Planet of Vegeta, which can search out anything in this deck. You can search out, you know, these apes, the Bardarks, the Vegeta, the Torah. You know, it can search out the Goku, the Gohan, the Vegeta, the, uh, you know, Awakened Warrior Bardark. Obviously, this can search out all your key combo cards. Um, it can't search out this because this only does four lower Saiyans. But, you know. Can't win them all, right? And definitely can't search out nobody or Legic or uh, Champ of the Tracer since he's, you know, God, you know, six. But you can search it out anything else in the deck. And. What else is in here? Uh, oh, yeah. Um, obviously, you can pay two to combo um, with uh, this uh, Bardark. And at the end of that battle, he'll you'll play you, you you know you can play him, and then when this card is played, draw a card and choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and switch it to rest mode. So there's that. And of course, uh, if you combo with a bodyguard uh, will of iron, he will after the battle choose up to one of your. Uh, Bardark's and evolve it on top of this card on top of that. So obviously you can play a Bardark of, uh, of Will of Iron on top of a Bardark of Will of Iron, or a Bardark Will of Iron on top of a uh, Bardark Raider's War Cry, because he's also a Bardark. So there's that. Uh, this is a Bardark Zeno, so you won't be able to uh, evolve on him. So keep that in mind. Uh, Vegeta. Uh, when you uh, play or combo with this card, look at up to three cards from the top of your deck. Choose one great ape and add it to your hand. If you do so, place one card from your hand into the drop area, then shuffle your deck. So, you know, this will help you, you know, thin out the deck, help you search out cards. You obviously will like to get stuff like you want to get uh, Raiders, War Cry, Bardark. He's pretty good, obviously, with the whole you combo with him, you summon him, and then you. Draw a card, plus he's 20k double strike, so that's always good. Of course, you'll get the effect of Prince Vegeta if you play him for March of the Great Apes. Um, once you, If you do that, I recommend is to resolve his effect first. You know, always search, then draw. SD. Search, then draw. So search for him, you know, get, get his effect off, and then get your draws for your Great Ape. And for your pan in that type of scenario. Um, what else to point out? Uh, of course, you can you can evolve on combo and evolve on top of uh, Great Ape Tora with a Great Ape Tora and get his effect. His effect is when a card evolves into this card, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and rest them. Uh, that is in rest mode and then KO them. So there's potential there to use uh, Raiders War Cry to tap one of your opponent's uh, battle cards and then. Evolve one of your Great Ape Torahs. It's already in play with another Torah, a Great Ape Torah, and then you know pop their battle card. So there's that strategy there. Bodyguard Legic, you know, it's a blocker. Most of these, you know, apes are blockers. The Vegeta's a blocker. Torah's a blocker. Um, Will of Iron is a blocker. Let's see, we got at least three. I mean, you know, three times four, you have 12 blockers, um, great eight blockers. So you can attack with them, and then of course, with uh, Planet Gra uh, Vegeta, you untap them, obviously. You know. So that's your defense, that's why there's no like flying Nimbus or anything in here. Because you're relying on like Bodyguard Electric and the apes themselves to defend you. And you're trying to go very aggro, you know, trying to go very aggressive, and then you're counter playing, so you're already stopping your opponent from even making good plays, so you have very little need to defend. When you're stopping them in their tracks. And Pan on her awakened side, uh, you know, still does her power boost and draw ability. Plus, when she attacks, you draw so you can get two draws in a single turn. Uh, to awaken her, you need four or less life, and you can um, un untap two energies, so that's always useful. Especially if you, uh, first off, march to the, you know, play Legic first, of course. 
then play March of the Great Apes so you can get the two apes, get their effects off, get all your all your draws and whatnot on her front side, then awaken her, and then uh, you know, untap two energies that will let you, you know, combo and then when you, you can get her effect on her uh backside, you know, you can get her her get five uh, k to something and then draw another card. Then when you attack with her, you draw another card, and of course you can you know combo the apes to her attack and then be able to get their effects off to do stuff. Typically, you will use a Raider's War Cry uh, with um, with your pan because you know, she's already in play. You can attack with her, you know, if you know go, if you go second and you can automatically. Um, you know, once you have two energies, because you need two energies to combo with him. All the other apes, you just need one. But with him, you need two specifically, and then you can just go off and start tussing. You always want to deal. You always want twenty power, twenty thousand power and up. So that's the most typical thing. You don't always have to go overboard unless you you feel you really need to. But being able to just attack your opponent for twenty k, especially twenty k, you know, double strike, is more than enough. You know, you attack, you don't have to combo. Opponent has to, you know, try to stop you. It's you're applying a lot of pressure because these are double strikes and it's 20k. So even if they're awakened, you know, you're still 5k stronger than their leader. You're they're gonna have to, you know, combo at least 10k to try to stop the attack. And that's the thing. If they're already tapped out, they're going to hopefully have to use to survive. They're gonna need to use two zero cost 5k's. So you want to put them in a position where they have to use more than one card from their hand to stop your attacks. But that's why you can go with, obviously, play, um, you know, for example, use, uh, you can't, you obviously attack with Pan, right? Like I said, attack with her to, um, and then combo to make her 20k. So she's you know, already makes her a little threatening. And then after that, uh, a Raiders uh, Warcry Balric will summon. His effect will trigger where you'll get to draw. She'll power boost them by five. You'll get to draw for her effect. So you're drawing two cards right there off of that combo. And then, of course, he's 25k double strike. So that's already a problem for your opponent. And then, since you drew two cards, you can use those cards to boost them up even further and get them to like 30k, maybe even 40k. And right there is very big pressure right there for your opponent. If they don't, you know, if they didn't already in the game and they allow you to combo, you know, 40k double strike to the face is, it's, it's going to land. You're going to land that hit typically, but on average, 20, 25k is more than enough. And um, that'll be the end of the video.